I'm gonna show you the quickest way to learn and memorize all your major triads. Let's start with the musical alphabet. So the musical alphabet starts on A, and it goes to G, but then it repeats after G, and it goes right back to A. Now a triad is a three note chord, and that three note chord is every other note um, in the musical alphabet. So A, C, E, G, B, D, F. And then it goes back to A. So we're actually gonna cross that out, and we are only going to use our order of thirds. This is every other note. You wanna memorize this. You wanna memorize this starting on any note. And there's only seven of them. A, C, E, you got your ace. C, E, G, keg. E, G, B, egb. G, B, D, gbd. B, D, F, bduf. And D, F, A, defa or deface. And then FAC, you got face. Okay, now next thing you need to know is what our accidentals are. So we have this, this is a sharp, and that means to go up a half step. This is a flat, and it means to go down a half step. And this is a natural. That just means that the letter name is the letter name. And these accidentals go after the letters when we're writing them like this. So now we're gonna draw our circle of fourths. Circle of fourth is like a clock. I'm gonna start with my 15 markers, and then I'm gonna go one-third, two-thirds, one-third, two-thirds, one-third, two-thirds, one-third, two-thirds. The order of fourths is C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat here. We have B, this is F sharp, this is also C sharp. If you go the other way, it's a circle of fifths. Some people like that too. E, A, D, G. Now. With our order of thirds, if you start on any of these notes, it's going to use the letters from these orders. So if I start on F, the three notes for a major triad, um, they have to be some kind of F, A, C. Now what changes are the accidentals, and you need to make sure that you have the accidentals correct. Otherwise, the triad's wrong, but here's the easy way. You have to memorize your circle in quadrants. All right, so the first quadrant that I learn is G, C, F. Greatest common factor. Now up here, the note at the top is natural, the note in the middle is natural, and the note on the bottom is natural. So if I start on G, I'm gonna go to my order of thirds. Hopefully you have this memorized. We know it's G, B, D. You don't have to change anything. It's just G, B, D. Same thing with C, C, E, G. Same thing with F, F, A, C. Now if we go down here on the opposite end of the circle, here's our next quadrant. We have this T down here. So it's opposite of the circle, that means everything is flipped. If uh, all of them are natural, and if now it, the letter name starts with a flat, that means all the notes are flat. If it started with a sharp, that means all the notes are sharped. If it was F sharp, then it would be F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. If it was C sharp, it would be C sharp, E sharp, G sharp. If it's C flat, it's C flat, E flat, G flat. If it's G flat, it's G flat, B flat, D flat. Memorize that first, use that to memorize this. The next quadrant is this, the D, E, A. Now in this quadrant, the bottom note is natural, the middle note is sharp, and the upper note is natural. So if I start on E, we have E, G sharp, B. If I start on D, it's D, F sharp, A. If I start on A, it's A, C sharp, E. Just like with this quadrant and this quadrant, we can go on the opposite end of the uh, circle here. We have the other D, E, A, these mirror keys, the keys that start with the same letter, but they have an accidental after them. These are opposite. This was natural, sharp, natural. These start with flat. It's flat, natural, flat. We're using the power of the circle. All right, so if I start on D flat, it's D flat, next one's natural, F, next one's flat, A, flat. If I start on E flat, it's E flat, G, B flat. If I start on A flat, it's A flat, C, E flat. That just leaves these two here. We have B and B flat. These are kind of like our oddballs. So B flat starts on a flat, and this one is flat, natural, natural. And then the opposite of that would be natural. This is on the sharp side of the circle. We have sharp, sharp. So if I wanted to spell B, it's B, D sharp, F sharp. If I wanted to spell B flat, it's B flat, D, F. So you can memorize these in quadrants, but you can also memorize them using mirror keys. 
So if I know that D, it starts natural, so it's natural sharp natural, it's part of the D E A, so it's a D F sharp A. That means that the opposite mirror key, D flat, is the opposite with its accidental, so it's flat natural flat. D flat, F, A flat. So work independently, memorize this order, memorize the quadrants, go across, use mirror keys, work with a partner. You should be able to memorize all of your major triads in 20, 25 minutes. What else can you do with a major triad? Well, you can use it to figure out all your other triad qualities. Um, you could also use it to spell your major scales. If we know that a triad is root third fifth, one half step below the root is the seven. One whole step above the fifth is the six. A half step above the third is the four. And a whole step below the third, which is also a whole step above the root, I think about it above the root, is the second. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven is below the root. And that is a really effective way to spell your major scales. You're thinking about them as chord tones.